Escapism. The tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. <clears throat> uh, cue the Hollow Knight footage, please. Life can be hard at times. As sad as it is, it's inevitable. I mean, life has its ups and downs, and although we wish it was all fine and dandy, that's not always the case. And to me, it's not a bad thing. We as humans can learn from the lowest valleys to the highest hilltops in life. But one thing that interests me is a specific way people cope in those times of being in the lowest valleys. Many different people have multiple ways of handling it. Some people draw, others play instruments. I know for myself, I look to who I personally believe is the savior of the world, Jesus Christ. So, you know, everyone is different. But in this digital age, I find one of the most common ways of coping in hard times is with video games. Escapism is often brought up in conversation involving the art of video games. It's by far one of the most powerful ways of immersing yourself away from troubles and sidetracking yourself from Tweedledee and Agonizing A. Video games serve as a form of entertainment, but for some, it's a way to give your mind a break. It brings you to places to get your mind off things or to give yourself a sense of fulfillment in times where it seems like that isn't possible. I, myself, have experienced this very form of escape quite a few times in my life, and over the years, and from what I've seen and heard from other experiences, people use this way of escapism for multiple reasons. For most, it's used as a distraction. It gives people temporary places to get away and get lost in worlds and characters and stories that give their minds less stress and more of a sense of relief. We live in a fallen world, and it can be cruel at times, so some people just need a break from what's going on around them. And depending on the person, each player has a different way of doing that. Some players like to get lost in big and vast worlds with tons of freedom all by themselves. Others like to distract themselves with more of a social experience with multiplayer and interactions with one another. You fill in the blank. Now I know video games aren't the only way to distract ourselves. There are so many different kinds of people that would rather play music or watch shows, and tons of people don't want to use the brain power video games can bring and just want to chill on the couch and not think about anything while watching a show. But because video games have such a wide appeal in so many areas, it makes this form of entertainment used so much to escape because there's so many avenues to choose and genres to appeal to so many unique players. I find myself often using games as a source of a break. I mostly play games for the entertainment and the enjoyment I get out of them, but I've also experienced times when they've done more than just entertain. There was a time in my life where I was experiencing stuff that I'm sure some of you have dealt with from time to time, and that's and and. It was hard to find motivation for anything. Thanks to God and the friends and family I had in that season, I was able to climb out of that dumb hole I felt so stuck in. But while I was in that time in my life, video games brought this sense of relief. It brought enjoyment and distraction when nothing else seemed to work. And in this season, a specific game came out that had a story slash message that genuinely helped me. Celeste is a very special game to me. Long story short, this game helped me in a time I struggled with confidence. It was crazy because before I even purchased the game, I had no idea what the story was, and lo and behold, the entire story revolved around confidence and self-esteem. It was like a god moment, like I, I don't even know, it was, it, was, it was crazy. I made a video a while back explaining my experience with it in more detail, but this is a perfect example of a game that not only was a source of relief, but also helped me out in a lot of other ways. In other words, it helped me escape for a bit. Another reason I find people using video games to escape is for fulfillment. In a lot of ways, other realms of entertainment lack the sense of success. For example, when watching a show, you can see the hero save the world, but you yourself are not the one doing it. And the same could be said about video games, I mean, yeah, you're playing in a false reality, but because you're in control of said character or game, it gives you that much more of the feeling of worth. Sometimes life doesn't go our way, and it can be tough to feel any sort of success when that happens. 
but video games can offer just that temporary bit of success to boost your confidence enough to help you keep going and get through those rough times, whether that's surpassing a difficult boss, fully 100% completing a game with every challenge finished, or teaming up and winning a competitive match in a multiplayer game. These achievements may seem worthless to some, but again, it all depends on the person and how the player feels when doing them. I know there's people out there that find worth in doing hard things, and maybe beating hard games can feel fulfilling to them. Or maybe to some, it can feel fulfilling expressing themselves with creation and using the freedom they have to create whatever is on their mind. It's all about preference. The final reason I'll mention with people using escapism in video games is for reminiscing. Playing certain games brings us back to simpler times, maybe a more happier time in life. And while some may look at this as more of a negative than a positive, it's all about how you look at it. Playing a game that feels nostalgic reminds us that there are happy times in life, and although you may be in a harder season now, you can always look back and remind yourself that life isn't always down in the dumps and that there's a light to the end of the tunnel. I know I do this often. There are times where I pop in a sentimental game of mine and just take a look back at all the fond memories I have with it. Most often than not, I'm more thankful than I am sad. Video games played such a big role in my childhood. They gave me so much joy and brought me to worlds that I don't think I'll ever experience quite to the extent as I did as a kid, but that doesn't stop me from looking back and enjoying those memories and thoughts of those past games. I find that these are some of the more common reasons people use games to escape. And based on experiences I've personally had and the experiences I've seen in others, I think escapism with video games can be healthy. To a degree. While I do think it's necessary to take breaks and unwind with things you enjoy doing, if handled carelessly, it can take you down a path that ultimately leads to a dead end. Escapism is used to seek distraction from unpleasant realities, aka problems, trials, and hardships in life, and if you're constantly seeking that distraction, it can create this cycle of avoiding the problem, finding a temporary distraction, and coming back to reality only to find yourself in that same exact problem, and the cycle continues to create addiction. The same could be said about the feeling of fulfillment. If you're constantly trying to find that temporary feeling of success with video games, that can potentially lead you down a path of feeling insignificant. It can even lead you to a place where if you start to perform badly, it can make you feel even worse, bringing more frustration and stress rather than relief and an escape. Your worth as a human should never be based on completing a game or winning a match. We were created for so much more. And again, if you rely on these temporary bits of success to define your worth entirely, that's a dangerous spot to be in. Even reminiscing can make a turn for the worse, and people can get caught in the past rather than the now. They constantly think about how much better life was back in the day instead of looking at the present and evaluating their situation. Reminiscing isn't bad, I think it's good to look back and remind ourselves of those enjoyable times, but it's when you start to only think about that entirely, you can get stuck in the past, and it can be hard to free yourself. Again, I'm not against using video games to escape. Video games can be one of the most powerful ways of enjoyment, relaxation, satisfaction, but what I'm trying to say is there's two sides to the matter. Yes, it can be a great way to let your mind off the hook for a bit, but if you're using it to primarily avoid problems and fears, it can potentially bite you back in the butt. It really all depends on whatever the situation is. Sometimes you can't control what happens in life and things can take time to heal, so I understand why people, and even myself, use games to help pass the time, but I know sometimes there are things we all can control, but we choose to stay in the corner of continual running from our situations. And that's when it can get dangerous. So, what's the point I'm trying to make here? Well, basically, what I'm trying to say is escapism in video games can be a beautiful thing, but we also have to be careful and responsible with it. We all have different problems, hardships, and fears in life, and I think it's good to take a step back from them for a while, but not forever. Eventually, we all come to a place where we have to face or overcome hard times one way or another, and if you continually run and never face them, 
the harder it is to temporarily find that enjoyment and come back to that difficult reality. So if I could encourage you with one thing today, it would be to try your best to find a way to overcome your fears and problems. I can't stress this enough. It's okay to step back and relax for a while. But once you're recharged, try your best to get out there and make a difference in your life. I'll leave you with one last thing. If you're going through a hard season in life, it gets better. Keep pushing through. And maybe instead of using games to avoid your current situation, use them to recharge, get back at it, and overcome. You got this. What's up, everybody? Uh, I usually don't record these end segments and whatnot, but I thought it'd be good for the channel. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, comment down below. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, and, yeah, it'd just be awesome if you subscribed. And so uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys later.